Hello everybody, Maven here, and this will be a full guide on how to do the revamped Whisper of the Worm exotic mission. It's not exactly the same as it was years ago, there have been a few updates. Doing this exotic mission will obviously unlock the craftable Whisper of the Worm, and I'll be sharing my thoughts on the best craftable role of that at the end. So let's get to it, hope you enjoy. Alright, step number one is to go to Sanctuary on the Moon and talk to Eris Morn as she has a new Whisper quest for us. After that, go ahead and launch the Whisper mission and we're going to load into the planet Io. Please bring it back, Bungie. So go forward and you're going to come to this first big green main room. Do not jump down, just curve around to the left and go into the little crevice. And just ignore the Taken dude, go ahead and break the Blight and that is going to reveal a hole to drop down into. The path is pretty straightforward from there, only one way you can really go. So once you get to this giant room, you're just going to go ahead and jump all the way down. Just do yourself a favor and equip an Eager Edge Sword, it's going to make this whole jumping puzzle so much easier because the Whisper mission is pretty much just one big huge jumping puzzle. You can sidle along the ledge to the right but I'm just gonna skip that with the sword and then you just jump down to the next platform down in the abyss and then go to the next ledge on to the right. Now from here it doesn't look like there's really anywhere to go you're gonna actually curve around the corner to your right and there's a ledge you can drop on and then you can crouch and go underneath this ledge there's gonna be these little walls that push you so be careful but again we can just skip that go on strand for this and use grapple it's gonna make your life so much easier just grapple up and go over to these balls on the left then go ahead and crouch or jump around these balls and there is going to be an elevator ride it all the way up to the top and then take a right and here's where we're going to come across our first red herring do not proceed forward upon that next ledge instead just go to the left and go into the wall here and then this next area is probably the most deadly area of the jumping puzzle because there are snipers and boopers to knock you off the ledges but just make your way across the ledges all the way to the end and there is going to be another hole in the wall you can jump to now when we get to this next big room there's a lot of tunnels we can go in but we're going to choose the far top right tunnel you can go to the balls on the right, there's a little ledge you can walk on, make your way over there and drop down. And then this is gonna lead us to our oh so favorite green room. A lot of us OG Destiny players spent a lot of time here because it was the best place to farm up catalysts. Anyways, there is a legitimate path you can go in the green room, but I feel like it is kind of one big red herring. Again, you can just go down to the right here. There's this little tunnel right next to where you came in. So just go ahead and make your way through the tight little crevices here. And then you're going to come across sort of like a rounded ledge. Just follow it. And then there's going to be like a drop off. You can actually jump around this. There's another ledge you can stand on. And then this back in the day, my friends called this the leap of faith. Go ahead and jump all the way down to that little light in the abyss. That's going to take you to another hole in the wall and then from there you jump up to the right there's a little red entryway and there's going to be a little tunnel that finally at last is going to lead you to the actual encounter itself now i'm just letting you know right now that you don't actually have to kill the blights in this area you only have to kill the enemies to proceed onward so you can kill the blights if you wish they're just pretty much there to get in your way but yeah kill all the enemies that's going to open this door to the next area shoot it down it's going to be a blight wall the next area is pretty much the exact same thing there's some blights there's some enemies kill the enemies kill the blights if you want to and then you proceed onward and then the next area won't have any blights but it's just going to have a bunch of enemies a bunch of scions down below and hawk goblin snipers up above kill them all and then you're going to drop down the triangle in the middle it's going to be a blight floor and careful when you drop down there's a pit of death below you we're going to jump forward and try to avoid that and then after killing this wave of enemies here you get a rally banner and this is going to be the boss encounter so go ahead and throw on some deep PS stuff, I've thrown a heavy GL and the Wither Horde so I can do some sustained damage. Now in this room, you're going to see three Taken bosses in the distance and you're going to see three Vex cubes left, middle, and right. Killing one of these cubes is going to spawn the corresponding boss. You can choose to take on one boss at a time or all three if you're trying to just get it over with quickly. It's really not too difficult. Put on a good survivability build and you should be good to go. Now once you take out all three bosses, you're going to get the true final boss to appear, which is an ogre, and he has an immune shield. In order to take down his immune shield, you got to take out the two witches. There's one in the back right and one in the back left. Taking them out will defeat his shield and then you can chunk him for half his health until he reaches the health gate. Then more witches will respawn, kill the witches on back left and back right, rinse and repeat, and then you can finish off the boss. It's pretty simple and a lot easier than I remember it being back in the day. So then you're going to get a chest at the end that is going to give you your Whisper Blueprints. So then you're going to take that back on the moon to Eris Morn, and she is going to give you the craftable Whisper of the Worm, but you need to actually do a quest to unlock a trait for it. So I'll show you that here. So the first step is to just kill a few Taken. It's extremely easy. Just go in the Dreaming City. There's Taken everywhere. 
And after that's done, the next quest is going to say to kill some blights in the Whisper mission. But we're going to actually launch on the Legend difficulty because the next quest step after that is going to be to complete the Whisper mission on Legend. So for this next quest step, have the Whisper equipped. Start the mission when you get to the first green room. As you see, I can shoot two blights here with my Whisper. And there is a third one. If you go to the big tree in the middle of the room, go around it and look up, you'll see it up above. So after killing these three blights, the next quest step is just to complete the mission on Legend difficulty. It's pretty easy. It's the same difficulty as normal difficulty, except you just have less time on your timer. And by the way, completing it on Legend difficulty will also unlock the Whisper Catalyst. So after you're done, go ahead and return to Eris Morn, and she is going to give you the field prep retrofit for the Whisper. And now you can go to the crafting table and slap that on there. So taking a look at the crafted roles here, to be completely honest, field prep is the only thing you want anyways. So when the future weeks for the Whisper mission come out and you can unlock the rest of the retrofits, I don't even recommend doing that unless you're a completionist because field prep is going to be the best in slot. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about how to do the Whisper mission and unlock the craftable trait. I hope the video has helped you out. If it did, be sure to drop a like and a comment because your interaction really goes a long way and helps out the algorithm. And of course, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe as we got a lot of juicy Into the Light content on the way this week. So stay tuned for that. And with that, I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.